How's it going people? Welcome back to the Pointless Polo Project. I'm JB and today I'm going to be showing you a cheap, easy, quick and reversible way to paint your hubcaps. So even if you don't like how they look after they've been painted, you can always change it back. You've literally got nothing to lose. For those of you that don't already know, I'm in the process of doing the cheapest modifications I can possibly do to my VW Polo 9N. So far I've changed my gear shift gator and done a very makeshift version of interior lighting. So far it's only cost me around about £8. This video marks the first exterior modification I've done as part of the project. To watch the other videos, click the i-card on the top right. Painting the hubcaps took me in total only a couple of hours, with minimal amounts of effort required, so this might actually be the simplest modification you can do. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell icon to stay up to date on the Pointless Polo project. I love reading and responding to comments, so feel free to let me know your thoughts on my method or whether you think the car looks better with or without the painted hubcaps. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> So to paint my hubcaps, I bought two cans of satin black peelable paint from Halfords for £9.99 each, so basically 20 quid in total. This stuff is great, and I'll do a short separate video on how this stuff actually works. For the sake of this modification, this paint is easily the best, as after it dries it can be peeled off of whatever it's been applied to. This means you really don't have to worry about getting it wrong, or not liking it after you've done it, as you can just change it back afterwards, which you couldn't do with normal paint, obviously. I also used masking tape and a damp cloth, so make sure you have these handy, as well as some clothes you don't mind getting paint on, and maybe some cardboard or some wood or anything you don't really mind painting onto. If this wasn't already clear, step one is simply taking the hubcaps off the car. I would not advise trying to do this whilst the hubcaps are still on the car, as you'll almost definitely get paint on the car and the paint will just run on the hubcaps and it just won't look good. If they haven't been removed for a while, then they can be quite hard to pull off, but I managed to get all four of mine off by popping each section out bit by bit. Following this, it's important to wipe the grime and grease from the hubcaps to make sure that the paint adheres to the plastic. Make sure all four hubcaps are clean. In my case, they turned out to be pretty sparkly, so I almost didn't want to paint over them. Next up, you need to masking tape the badges to make sure they don't get painted over. You could probably use masking tape to make some funky designs on the hubcaps, but I wouldn't advise this as it probably just looks a bit silly. You don't need to worry about sanding down the hubcaps or anything with this type of paint. You can simply begin spraying immediately. Just make sure the hubcaps are on a flat surface, as you don't want any paint running as it will make the paint job look way worse. You need to evenly apply the paint from a distance, making sure you cover all of the hubcap. This may require aiming into the different angles to ensure everything gets a strong coating of paint. Do this for all four of the hubcaps and then leave them to dry for maybe 15 to 20 minutes. After this, apply another coating of paint in the same way to ensure the paint is evenly spread. If you get any running paint, respray these sections until the running is no longer an issue, then leave the hubcaps out to dry. I left mine out on a hot day in the sun for around an hour before coming back to them to check. This paint does dry very quickly, but I wasn't in a rush and I'd rather be on the safe side, hence I left them for such a long time. Once they're dry to touch and you won't mess the paint up with your fingers, carefully remove the masking tape from the badges. If you manage to get a bottom piece, it can all come off in one go, which is quite satisfying. Now you're pretty much done. Just put the hubcaps back on the car, making sure you line them up with the valves to ensure they go on in the right way, and just push them into place. This can sometimes require a little bit of force, but it really isn't that difficult. Here's my finished product, and a comparison with the original. I'm quite happy with it, even if they do look way too dark. Darker even than the tyres. But I think that's okay, as they'll no doubt fade a little in the long run. The whole process took only a few hours, and I had plenty of time to mess about and do whatever in between stages. So for 20 quid, this is an easy, quick, and cheap way to update the look of your car. Whether or not it's worth it is up to you to decide, but at a glance, I quite like it. Time will tell if I continue to like it, but the best thing about this is that if I don't like it, I can simply peel the paint off. I hope you found this useful, and I hope you're more likely to try this out on your car in the near future. If you did find this interesting or useful, remember to hit the like button and comment down below to give me your thoughts. And if you want to stay up to date on the Pointless Polo project, as well as my other car related videos, hit the subscribe button and join me as I endeavour to make this polo a little bit more interesting. Anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Listen.